A very good morning everyone. Uh, I hope you all are doing good. Uh, today's video is going to be for the OET candidates. Uh, OET candidates, as you all know, there is a very good news. OET exam can be conducted from home and the bookings will open by the end of this month according to the OET website. So that is a very good news that you all have that, you know, because of the pandemic, you were kind of stuck that you could not go or travel to give your exam. But that should not be a hindrance right now. So, yeah, so I would suggest you to start doing your research on more about how it's going to be like today. I'm going to be talking about a few aspects of uh, how the exam is going to be conducted. First of all, I'm going to be talking about the resolution. Uh, you need to set up your resolution into an optimal uh, format so that you can give the exam. So I, what I noticed is that if you have a Windows 7 PC, in that case, uh, you need to go and choose the highest resolutions. Uh, highest resolution, you go into the control panel, use the highest resolution, which is uh, 190 into, I think, 1080, something uh, approximately that. Just check, choose the highest resolution, 1920, one okay? That is very important to get a, uh, to good, do the test. Second thing, choose uh, the screen to 100%. That is also another important thing. Same way, even if you have a Windows 10 uh, on your laptop, you need to choose the same resolution, 1920, right? <clears throat> so that is one thing. Uh, it's gonna be ease of, there's gonna be a lot of ease of use because you can actually do it from the comfort of your home. And that is why it's gonna be a game changer completely. Because as you already know, even IELTS, has a uh, had an online version so also they also came up with this so very advantageous guys if you already not subscribed to the channel uh, kindly do because i'm i do come up with a lot of good information which is going to be helpful for you uh, the oet candidates and the other candidates as well thank you very much uh, second information that i'm going to be telling you is about speaking how the speaking exam is going to be conducted so what i uh, what i see is that uh, First thing is that it will be conducted on Zoom. So I'm sure most of you will be or already familiar with the Zoom platform. So it shouldn't be anything difficult for you. They made it very easy. Uh, Zoom will be the platform. Uh, there'll be a few things which will be allowed on the desk. First is gonna be uh, your uh, identification number, which is like a passport. Then a clear water bottle. It shouldn't be uh, opaque. It should be clear. It should be transparent water bottle. And then your pen and paper. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, that's all the things which are allowed and plain paper. Okay, there should be nothing on that piece of paper at all, and they're going to be checking it for sure. So don't don't think uh, any other uh, you know possibilities. So uh, do that first of all. When the Zoom meeting starts, you will be asked to give a 360 degree view of your room, wherever you are giving the exam at your home. You need to move the laptop and you need to take it around 360 degree in your room and you need to actually show surroundings that you are the only one in the room. So that is a very important thing. Uh, that's how they're going to be checking it. And on the plain piece of paper, as you already know, plain piece of paper is to write your small notes for the speaking portion, right? So that is about the uh, speaking. Now I checked a very important section, writing section. So uh, usually we uh, students, they, you, you all have a, a kind of confusion that how our writing is going to be conducted online. But believe me, I just checked it personally myself and it is pretty easy. They have made it very easy because on the left hand side of the screen, you will be having your reading notes. Okay. Case notes will be mentioned. And on the right hand side, there will be space to write your letter. First of all, reading time, as you know, is going to be five minutes. Uh, and you, even if you finish before five minutes, I would suggest you not to close the window. The window can be scrolled up and down. The best feature I found about this window is that you can even highlight the notes that you will, uh, that you see, they have made it very easy for you all to attempt. Okay. They need you to come with a competitive test so that they can, you know, they can survive the competition. Now, Coming to the writing section. Now see writing section, uh, the writing section is gonna be on the right hand side. And then uh, one, uh, two important points. First of all, there is no 
cut copy paste feature in the writing section okay if you make a mistake you go and type it again you type it again you cannot cut copy paste feature secondly of course spell check is not enabled spell check is disabled therefore you will be have to, you will have to rely on your own spelling right now uh, on the right hand uh, on the left hand side there is another button which gives you a quick access to the reading case notes so in case you have closed the reading notes by mistake do not worry you just have to click on the left hand side of the <coughs> writing window and you can have a quick access to the reading case notes guys do not finish your letter before your 40 minutes even if you have used the full time for proof reading because even if you finish your reading five minutes before it's not going to be of any help take your full time take advantage of that make your letter better use the proper punctu punctuation spelling everything else that uh, you know you uh, you already know the criteria right and make sure you use your 40 minutes okay now finally what do you have to do once you are done with the text on the upper upper right hand side option uh, upper right hand side corner there will be a finish button finish the test button so you click on that after clicking on that it will ask you once more so do not think that only once you have to click and if you have if you want to reverse it you cannot yes it will ask you a second time do you confirm and then you click on it again once you confirm it then it can take you to the uh, main window from there again on the right hand side you have an option of finish the test so guys as you can see speaking and writing portion are very easy to attempt i i saw it myself and uh, i think you should start planning your exam now it's already high time as you all know and by the end of September, uh, according to the website, they will start opening the bookings for the test, right? So good news. And uh, please do not keep waiting for that day. You know, start preparation right now. You can go on my channel. I have made a lot of speaking case, uh, speaking videos. I have made videos on reading, um, uh, reading part A, part B, part C, right? And if you have any questions, do feel free to uh, message me in the uh, comment section. I hope you are all geared up and ready and motivated to get your desired score and live your dream life. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye.